Hey Pisces, my water sign Pisces, what is up, what is good? Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel if you have subscribed. If you have not subscribed as of yet, only if you want to, make sure you guys do me a favor. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video, make sure to turn your post notifications on all, not occasionally, so, you'll, so you won't be missing out on the videos that I upload and you will always be notified. Stick around at the end of the reading for some important messages that I have for you guys. Now let's jump into your romance oracle and see what's going on in love with my Pisces. What's going on in love? I know you see these two cards on the um, table. I'm going to tell you what that's about in a second. Any messages for Pisces, male or female, divine, masculine, divine, feminine, twin flame, soulmate, energy, spirit guides, universal energies, and masters. Give me some love messages for Pisces for the month of October. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So someone has codependent issues. This could be emotionally. This could be financially. This could be some type of obsession. Yeah, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you at the bottom of the deck. Any more messages for Pisces, male or female? Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors. Thank you so much. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic about your love life because I feel like you're going to be meeting your true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. But there is a separation on the horizon. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And at the bottom of the deck, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay, so I feel like there is some codependency issues here between you and your partner. And I feel like there may be some red flags that you need to pay attention to. Or the signs are cautioning you. Okay? I also feel like it's going to bring some type of separation between you two. All right? Where this person may be traveling for work too much. Or you feel some type of aloneness. Or being alone. Or you guys are single, some of you. Okay? True love is coming, though. Stay optimistic. Try not to think negative about your love life or speak ill about it. Because... You throw off what the universe has to give you. Okay? So, when I was shuffling to get some additional messages, codependency came up. And what clarifies that is, I can't do this. So, someone can't do this anymore. Or if they can't do this, somebody feels like they can't do something. True love. I find you so attractive. Stay optimistic about your love life. Let's see what comes up for that. Why stay optimistic here? Why stay optimistic here? Give me some additional messages for Pisces person before we move on to the spread. Because I'm about to get into your tarot in a second. I just wanted to show y'all that I'm trying some new things. I compare others to you, okay? So, someone is trying to stay optimistic about their love life, but they compare other people to you, or you compare other people to them. It's a separation coming up, and I feel like this person is saying, I do love you. Even though you guys are separated, or you're feeling alone, or some type of loneliness, okay? They do love you, or you love them. But there's some red flags. Why is red flags here? Pay attention to the red flags. Why is pay attention to the red flags here for Pisces, the bottom feminine, the bottom masculine? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, universal energies. Why is pay attention? Thank you. Pay attention to the red flags. I miss being with you. Hmm. I don't want to know. Okay. So I feel like with these red flags, 
The signs are cautioning you, but I feel like somebody misses being around you or you miss being around them. But I feel like whatever these red flags are, you don't want to know. Somebody doesn't want to know about what is going on. Because I feel like you would have to free yourself from it. Let go of this person or this situation. Let's see what's in your spread. Okay, let's see what's really going on. So someone feels blocked. Okay, you may be feeling like this person is blocking you. This person uh, may be avoiding you or you're avoiding them. Someone right now is closed off and blocked off. There may be a lack of information or some kind of block communication. I'm sorry, you guys. I heard some children. I thought they were my children. They went off to school. Okay? And I feel like, you know, somebody may have blocked you here. And I feel like, you know, you want to take control of this situation. You're trying to take control of the situation you're not trying to let this situation take control of you. And I feel that you are listening to your intuition or there's a need to take control of the situation and listen to your intuition. You may be keeping quiet about something. All right. You may be keeping to yourself, not saying anything at a distance. You may be waiting for someone. You may be waiting for this person to come back and reconcile with you. You may be waiting to travel towards this person. I feel like you admire this person. You may reminisce about this person, about the past. You may know this person from childhood, or this is an ex or a friend, or someone from the past is back. So you're waiting for someone from the past to come back or to return. Or you're getting ready to return to someone from your past. And I feel like with the Four of Cups, this may be a missed opportunity. You may feel like this person rejected you or said no to your offer or something like that. Where you feel stuck, you're dissatisfied. And I feel like you're spying on someone here. Or someone's spying on you, trying to find out more information on you. But yeah, somebody blocked you. And I feel like you didn't see this coming here. You had no idea this was coming. With the Three of Swords here, I feel like there was like a love triangle or some sort of third party situation going on here. Somebody got in the way where it caused a lot of heartache and pain here. And I feel like there's a lot of heartache and pain going on in your energy. To see that happen already, this is coming up or it is going to happen in the near future. And I feel like You are having some type of epiphany or you're being enlightened by something. Okay, this may be a brand new beginning in love for some of you. So this person may have blocked you because there is some interferences in the way. There could be a love triangle. There could be a new love here for some of you. But I do see that you still love this person. Even though there's a separation between you two, you still love this person. You still feel like this person is a blessing to your life. And I feel like you're having some sort of epiphany. I feel like you want to move towards this person. And I feel like you may be in a different city, state, country, or town from this person here. Okay. And I feel like you want to move forward with them. But they're holding back. They're holding back their energy. They're pulling back from you. Um, this is someone who's restricting themselves and restraining themselves of something. Holding themselves back from something. And I feel like this person may rush towards you with some news or message. Or you're rushing towards them with some type of news or message. I feel like this person has a lot to say. And it may result in a, heated, in a heated discussion or an argument here. Where someone could be pissed. But I see that this person is holding back and you could be rushing in because this person is emotionally withdrawn. This could be you. Or this is someone who has water in their chart. This is somebody that is emotionally withdrawn. They feel a level of disappointment. disappointment. So this could be you after this message. 
or this news came in, you feel a level of disappointment and abandonment. Uh, okay, I feel like this person may have walked away from you guys. Or you walked away from them. I feel like you're moving forward, okay? And I feel like whoever you're dealing with is getting ready to move. Or this is you getting ready to move, relocate to a different vicinity, to a different place, a different scenery, right? And I feel like you're happy and content and very comfortable with the decisions that you are made. Making, I feel like this is um, wish fulfillment for you or for this person. Why is the chariot here? They still love you, but they're moving. They're moving, relocating, they're holding back. They are pissed because they had to walk away. And there's some level of disappointment here, Pisces, whether this is you or this person that you're dealing with. Why is the chariot here for Pisces? You could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, I feel like they... <sighs> okay, you want to move towards this person. You want to move forward with them. But I feel like this situation may be draining to you. It may be a heavy load on your shoulders. It may be a lot of work. Okay, you feel like the weight of the world is on your back, you're carrying this relationship on your back, or this person feels like that. They feel like this situation is too much work, it's too draining, it's too much to carry. You know, it's just a burden. Something is a burden. And I feel like this person wants to drop these burdens. Okay, they have a, their burdens and other people's burdens on them. And it's just too much for this person. And I feel like they are walking away. You may feel like this person is making things hard for you. And I feel like there's a level of disappointment here. This person either emotionally withdrew and held their energy back or walked away and was holding back. I feel like this person... Is taking out some time to themselves to think, to do uh, some dark night of the soul, soul searching type of metamorphosistic. Someone is changing. Someone could be changing their appearance. This person could have ghosted you. But I feel like this person, they do think about you. Or you think about them all the time. Could be dealing with a Virgo. I feel like you're being guided to this person. I feel like this person is taking some time alone for themselves to think about things here. This person may be detaching because of some type of secrets. Okay, something hidden, something not yet um, revealed. Or someone's all up in their feelings, right? They went in the hermit mode, they're all up in their feelings. They may have some type of fear. But I feel like it could be some type of confusion here too. We're going to see. Why is strength here? Clarify strength for Pisces with the strength card. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Why is strength here? Give me one card, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, universal entities. Oh, for Pisces and love, give me one card for strength. Clarify strength. Clarify strength. One more time. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, universal entities. Give me one card to clarify strength for Pisces. Yeah, this person is taking some time out to heal. This person is taking some time out to find that emotional balance. Okay? This person is being patient with themselves here with the temperance card. But even though this person is holding back, <clears throat> I feel like you're trying to gain the strength to compromise with this person. To come back around. And heal things with them.
okay and I do feel like you see this person as your soulmate you could be dealing with the Gemini you do love this person okay you guys relationship may have started off with um, sexual heavy sexual attraction there's a lot of sexual chemistry between you two but I do feel like though there is a decision or a choice that someone has to make here between two lovers and I feel that someone here may be paranoid someone here is guarded whoever you see as your soulmate is guarded they are not really trusting of the situation okay this is the wounded warrior this person has been hurt before they are tired they are wounded all right, and they feel like the best thing for them to do is to protect their energy. Watch the Knight of Swords here for Pisces. Somebody's rushing in or taking action. Let's see what this is. It could be that something is being brought to your attention or your partner's attention. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Clarify the Knight of Swords for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, North. Thank you. I feel like... <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like you want to take action and get into union with this person. I feel like you want to be in a relationship with them. I feel like you guys have a beautiful connection. This is someone who is on the same emotional level as you. This is a bond that is really strong. This is a soulmate connection. <clears throat> I feel like someone is rushing in because they realize that they will have a beautiful connection with you. Or you realize that about them. You're taking some sort of action towards this person because you want to be in a relationship with them you want to have this union with them right and I feel like you are traveling towards them or this person is traveling towards you this may be fast rapid communication back and forth over the airwaves text messaging phone calls face to face snapchat twitter whatever you got any social media platform, okay? You may be talking to this person. Or you are talking to someone passionately. Back and forth. Online here. And it could be kept a secret. It could be kept a secret. Something is secret. I feel like though you want to talk to this person. Alright. Some of you may have some fear that this person will go off into a new direction. Or you may be confused. You may be feeling left out in the dark about some things. Okay, but I see that something may be hidden here. It's a secret. We're going to see what that's about. Oh, this person may have rushed in to send this news or this message to you. Because they're upset. They do feel a connection with you. They feel a soul tie connection with you. They feel this attraction. This magnetic pull that you two have with each other. But I feel like right now, this person is withdrawn emotionally. Walking away from their emotions. Disconnecting from their emotions. There is a level of disappointment. Because I do feel like this person wants to be with you. But they feel like they had to walk away. Something was brought to your person's attention about the relationship. Where it caused them some type of disappointment and they may have abandoned the relationship or you may feel like they abandoned you why is the eight of cups here mm. this person may have withdrawn from you because you are married they may have walked away with the eight of cups because you are married there's some level of disappointment here with this person because you are married and this person They may have abandoned you, 
But I feel like you guys will have the ultimate happiness. You two will have a good relationship. A stable home and family. Happiness, peace, and harmony and joy. You feel like this person emotionally fulfills you. I feel like whoever is withdrawn or has walked away. Marriage might be on the brain if you're not already married. But I feel like. Whatever this person says they're going to get done, it gets done. They do it and it gets done. This person is a leader. This person has a lot of passion for you still. Or you have a lot of passion for them still. But I feel like somebody's watching from a distance. Okay, it could be this Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Someone who is taking the lead in this situation and pulling their energy back and moving on. Okay, right now, you two had a verbal falling out with the Six of Swords and the, the Seven of Wands. Someone may have accused you of something or is pushing you away. Someone is not budging. Someone is standing their ground and standing up for themselves. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Clarify the Ten of Cups for Pisces. A lot of your energy is here. Very emotional. Um time for you and your person there's a lot of emotion here a lot of emotion why is the ten of cups here clarify the ten of cups for pisces sun moon rising venus clarify the ten of cups thank you spirit thank you yeah Someone has walked away, abandoned the relationship, or is just withdrawn emotionally because someone here is married. Or now, marriage is on the brain. You feel this person is your emotional fulfillment. But there may be a family here and children already. Somebody's married. And I feel like this person... Or you. Someone here really wants to take their time <clears throat> in the relationship. I feel like you're moving slowly towards this person. You're moving very, very, very slow towards this person before you make them some type of an offer. Okay? You or this person may feel that something is so slow coming that it's not coming at all. Okay, somebody walked away because they could have wanted marriage and it's moving too slow. Or somebody's already married <clears throat> and somebody is, something has halted here. Okay, something has stopped. And I feel like somebody is stopping to make sure that this is the right decision they want to make before they make this offer to you or you them. Someone is moving very, very slowly here. Very slowly. I feel like that. This person may be feeling stuck. Okay. It could be because somebody here is blocked. And has been rejected. Their offer has been rejected. Somebody said no. Alright. And now I feel like. You may be closed off and blocked off. Because you don't want this to be a missed opportunity. But it may be. It might be. This person is still upset with you. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. You could be married to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Someone also feels like you are emotionally disconnected. I wouldn't say emotionally unavailable. Even though it may sound the same, but somebody feels that you emotionally withdrawn from them because you are married to someone. Whew. I feel like you or this person wants to take control of the situation and manifest this person back into your life. Because I feel that you are wanting to build with them. You want to, you know... Have a legacy and a family with them. You may have talked about children, home, family, marriage with them. I feel like you may be feeling like this person is the one. And I feel like you want to reconcile with them. <clears throat> you want to reconcile with them after an ending. 
or they want to reconcile with you. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. I feel like you want to take your time. <clears throat> you want to take your time moving towards this person. You're moving very, very slowly towards this person. But you feel like this person is your emotional fulfillment. And you feel like this feeling is taking so is, is so slow coming that it's not coming at all. There's some sadness or regrets here. Somebody's mourning the loss of their relationship or is very disappointed. Someone is crying over spilled milk. Someone is very, very sad. This person may want peace, happiness, and joy with you. But if they feel like it's not going to happen. It's so slow coming that it's not going to happen. And this person is very, very sad and disappointed about that. Okay. They talk about you. They reminisce about the good times you guys had. Or you reminisce about them. I feel like you miss them or they miss you. I feel like you admire this person. You adore this person. You really love this person. Sort of an innocent kind of love, right? And I feel like someone from your past may be returning or you're returning to someone to someone's life here. They could be returning to your life because this is the Six of Cups. But the past is back. And I feel like there's a new offer on the table here. There's an offer for a brand new beginning to make something stable, solid, and more committed. Make things official. This may be a date. This may be a gift. This may be a large sum of money. This may be a new job, a new home, a new car, right? This person may be disappointed because they feel like you returned to someone from your past, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may be married to this person. And it's causing a, a great deal of heartbreak and pain for this person. There is a third party situation, a love triangle going on. And there's a separation here. <clears throat> why is the two of... I'm sorry, why is the five of cups here? I was looking at the two of swords over there. Why is the five of cups here? Give me one card, Spirit, to clarify the five of cups. Someone is at like a stay a stalemate, a standstill. Someone is not really taking much action right now with the Knight of Pentacles. Oh what's the five of cups here? Clarify by the five of cups, thank you. Yeah, this someone is sad and disappointed because they, they felt like you were their twin flame. They felt like you guys manifested each other. They feel like you guys had a soulmate connection. And with the Six of Cups, this is a twin flame soulmate connection. This is a twin flame or a soulmate connection. However, you two... This is a beautiful relationship, but I do feel like though, someone may be moving into a brand new home, renovating, re remodeling, redecorating. This may be about an announcement that somebody's getting ready to make. This may be a birthday party, a baby shower, or some type of event going on. But I feel that there may be a celebration, there may be a housewoman party. If not that, this person... It's disappointed. They wanted you to propose to them or marry them. For some of you, this person held back and is healing and being patient with themselves. But I feel that somebody, somebody here rushed into a new connection. Or is rushing in to 
this could be a new connection between you and this person. Some of you, this person rushed into another relationship. And some of you, this person is rushing in because you two have a good relationship. They may not want you to walk away. They want to have an ultimate happiness with you. They want to marry you. But they feel like things are moving very, very slow. Like it's not going to happen. And they're disappointed. They really want a union with you. They really want to be with you. They want you to propose or something. Or you're already married in a commitment or something. Yeah, this person feels like you're their soulmate. Okay. They miss you. This person misses you. That's the four of wands here. They're very sad. Because they wanted to be happy. They wanted to have, you know, this celebration with you. They wanted you guys to be engaged or married. And this person is disappointed. Okay. Somebody's down in the dumps about love. They want to manifest this love. And I feel like. Someone is pregnant or either expecting a baby or you may be finding out that you are pregnant. Whatever you're starting here is going to leave you feeling very powerful and abundant. I feel like you may see this person like this. Okay, you see their worth and their value here. And I do feel like though... You feel like this person is very beautiful. This person may be a mother or a wife. This is someone who's younger than you are. Like I said, they have children or you two have children together. But there's something new starting up. Something, someone is starting a very creative project where it's going to, the outcome is, is going to make them very abundant or they already are abundant and very powerful. The Empress is here. This is the most powerfulest woman in the deck. Out of all the queens, the Empress is the most powerful, the most gorgeous, the most beautiful and you see this person's worth. You see their value. You feel like this person is your twin flame. But you may be engaged or married already. And there's a wife here. The Empress is a wife. Yeah. I feel like you're going to get your justice here. I feel like things are going to be balanced out for you. But someone hasn't made a decision yet. A decision has not yet been made. I feel like this person wants you two to have a mature conversation. And there may be a lot of mature maturity between you two. You guys understand each other. Somebody may need to do some growing up. I feel like you want to write a wrong with this person. I feel like you want to balance things out with them. I feel like you want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them. And I feel like you do want to come towards this person and let them know how sorry you are. Or this is them coming towards you with a romantic gesture or gift or some type of offer of love. This person sees you very charming and alluring. And I feel like someone from the past is back. This is a very spiritual, very religious person. But this person, <clears throat> they believe in the traditions of home, marriage, and family. So for some of you, your person feels like you went back to someone from your past whom you were married to with the hard fire here. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. There's a wife here again or spouse. Someone you live with or share resources or property with. This person may 
be a mother. You may have children with them or they have children. This is a uh, person who's financially providing for the other. There's some sneaky behavior going on. Somebody's lying and cheating and stealing. Somebody could have stole a large lump sum of money or this is someone who's just strategizing a plan of action to have some sort of new beginning. And there's some more secrets. This person may have fear that there may be a love triangle or some heartbreak that may result in it. Something is kept a secret about a love triangle. There's more than one person here. Why is the Knight of Cups here? You may be younger than them because I see a lot of young energy here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Mars, and Venus. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces. Yeah, when you come towards this person, they're still going to be guarded. Their guard is going to be up. Their wall is going to be up. They're not really going to be trusting you like that. They don't trust you with the Seven of Swords. And I do feel like this person is protecting their energy. They're not really trusting if they want to reconcile with you or not. Because like I said, some of you may be married already. If you are not married... You may be reconciling with this person. You guys may be moving in together. We're talking about building a legacy or family. Someone here is celebrating some type of abundance, though. And it's bringing them a lot of money. Somebody is a master ma manifester with the magician card. Somebody's a master manifester. But I feel like this person is guarded. They blocked you. They want to take control of the situation. They don't want the situation to control them. Because I feel like this person is very intuitive right here. This person knew it. Okay, They knew they would be waiting at a distance. They knew that, you know, they would just be at a standstill. Waiting. Waiting for their ships to come in. Waiting for something. Waiting for travel. But this person may be keeping quiet and turning their back to the situation or you. Someone is turning their back. And I feel like you want forgiveness. Somebody here wants forgiveness. They want to reconcile. I do feel like somebody from the past is returning. But an offer might be rejected. Or you feel rejected. Or you want to return to this person. But you have a fear of Their rejection. <sighs> they may feel like somebody from your past is back. And they're very dissatisfied with this. They don't like it. They don't like this energy. They feel stuck. Or this is you feeling stuck. Or you feel like you have to spy on this person. Because they rejected you. You feel rejected by them. They are so guarded. They're protecting their energy. You really hurt this person. And they really wanted to come into union with you. They really wanted to be in a relationship with you. Because this person is so guarded, for some of you, I see you in another connection. There may be more than one connection here. For some of you, somebody walked away. Somebody walked away here. And I feel like it's because someone here is married. That's why they're moving real slow. To make some type of an offer or they feel stuck. They're disappointed. You know, they're disappointed and sad. Because I feel like someone here just wants to be happy. You know. They want to be happy. They want to be your wife. You may be wanting to apologize to this person, but they're protecting their energy. They're not trusting it. They're closed off and blocked off. You may have been avoiding them. And they feel heartbroken. Because they love you. They want to move towards you, but they feel like it's too much work. 
it may be too much you're putting this person through. This person feels like it's a burden, like you're draining them, and they are ready to walk away and pull their energy back, and they're ready to heal and bring that balance back into their life. And I feel like you're rushing in to get back into union with this person, but this person may have sent you some pretty nasty messages about, you know, the relationship. And again, this is a somebody's withdrawn emotionally. Or has abandoned the relationship. Let's get some messages from this person. This is the longest reading I have ever done. Any messages for a Pisces person? I know I may have been moving slowly, but I'm trying to meditate on y'all energy here. There's a lot of emotion here that you have for this person. A lot of love and emotion. Some of you may walk away from somebody you are married to, but it took you some time to do that. You had to do it very slowly. You're taking your time before you do that. And I do feel like you guys may be sad, right? You guys may be sad because this person is your twin flame. You know, they are your wife. And I feel like Somebody may surprise you or you may surprise them with a gift, romantic gesture, or extending your cup of love. And someone here <clears throat> they may be guarded or paranoid. <sighs> I don't want to let you go. I want you back at the bottom of the deck, at the bottom of the deck. I am not over you. Okay. So whoever walked away from you, you're not over them. You broke my heart. Yeah, but that's where it's sore. Somebody's heart definitely is broken. I hide. I hide my feelings. And with that moon card, somebody's definitely masking their emotions. One more message, spirit. One more message. For Pisces person. This is either for you or your person. Take it how it resonates. You know what side you on. You know what side they on. I can't do this. I admire you at the bottom of the deck. Underneath that. I miss seeing you. I don't know how to feel. I still feel the pain. Okay. Um. I feel like you don't want to let somebody go. You want them back because they walked away obviously. You're not over them. You still feel this attraction to them, especially with the two of cups. You feel this attraction to them. But you feel like your heart is broken because of what they did. And you may have so much emotion that you can't do it. You can't you can't be this emotional. You can't do this. You don't want to feel this way. Someone is stressing over you leaving or you're stressing over them leaving. Either way, take it how it resonates. Let's get one message from Spirit. Let's get one message from Spirit. Let's get some advice for Pisces. Any advice for Pisces that you'd like to share, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, and Rosal Energies, Sending Answers? One more time, y'all. Get any messages or advice you would like to share with Pisces. I'm arriving in this time. Okay. Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. One more message. Any more messages, Spirit? Any more messages for Pisces? Oh, these two flipped over. Take a leap of faith into the unknown. Trust where your spirit guides are taking you. Even though everything you want is on the other side of fear, trust where your spirit guides are taking you. Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. So that is your advice for today. And that concludes your reading. Thank you guys so much for coming into the channel. If you have not subscribed, make sure you like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure your notifications is turned on all night occasionally so you won't miss out on any of the videos that I upload for you guys. And if you want to book a personal private reading with me, my email is in the description box down below. If you want to tip me or donate to my channel, my cash app is also in the description box down below. Everything you need to know is in the description box down below. 
Um, and um, the readings are only $50, so you'll be getting your reading within 24 hours. So if you're interested, hit me up for a personal reading, and I could tap more into your energies and your person's energy. Okay? And as I always say, if nobody has told you they love you today, Pisces, I'm telling y'all that I love y'all so much. Until next time, bye, Pisces. See you in the next reading.